evening items to discuss. We're about 30 minutes away from getting started. For anyone standing in the aisles, once the ceremony starts, you will not be able to stand there. Fire regulations prohibit gathering in the aisleways. For those that haven't found the restrooms yet, they're down the corridor on the left. Uh, men's on the left, women's on the right. There's also a set of handicap accessibles at the end of this corridor. This is very important. Once the ceremony starts, we will close the doors and there will be no re-entry into this room. So if you need to take a bathroom break, I encourage you to do it now, because if you take it after the ceremony starts, you will not be readmitted into the room. We ask that you silence your cell phones or turn them off. We are also streaming the video of the graduation on YouTube and in two areas on campus. If you have to take a child out or whatever, we have a cry room or just an overflow room on the porch at the front doors, air conditions, seats, uh, live stream. We also have another overflow room across the street in one of the classroom buildings. We're feeding their live as well. Again, once we start around 9.30, uh, we will close the doors and there will be no re-entry. If you need a bathroom break, please take it now. Thank you.
Good morning. For those just arriving, we're about 10 minutes away from getting started. We ask that you silence your cell phones now. And a reminder, if you leave the auditorium during the ceremony, you will not be readmitted. We ask that you go to the viewing room on the porch to continue watching the ceremony. Again, if you leave the auditorium during the ceremony, you will not be readmit readmitted. If you need a bathroom break, please go now. Thank you.
Pray with you, please. Our Father, what a joyous day it is as we gather together to celebrate the achievements and accomplishments of these students this morning. Father, we pray that your hand, as it has been upon them through their studies, through the long hours, through the tedious moments of completing the projects that need to be done. Father, we thank you for the success that they have attained. And Lord, we are also thankful for those who had a hand in it for family members, friends, and others who encourage them along the way. But most of all, Father, we are thankful to you for the talents that you have given to them, for the strength and endurance that you've enabled them to be able to finish and to finish well. Father, as we celebrate their achievements today, may your hand continuously be upon them to encourage them and inspire them to do greater things. For it's in your precious and holy name we do pray. Good morning. We welcome all of you to this 2018 spring commencement on behalf of the trustees, the faculty, administration, and these graduating students. We're so glad that you have come to share in their achievement. I know we have some international guests. We have uh, some guests from Spain, Pedro's parents, would you stay? They're here, Pedro, there, there we are. And from Finland, would you stay in from Finland? Are, are there other countries represented in the audience today? If there are, stand please and let us. From. From Sweden. Well, you uh, friends from Finland and Sweden are getting a little taste of Mississippi weather. Do, is there, a, yes, Brazil. It's just starting to be fall in Brazil. So welcome, welcome all of you. We have a request to make of you very respectfully. We ask that as each candidate is uh, name is called and they receive their diploma, please hold your applause. Please do not applaud each individual candidate. Uh, wait until a group of candidates have all received their diploma and then we'll give you all the time you want to clap and cheer and uh, 
support their achievement. But we ask that you not applaud each individual candidate. There's several reasons for that. As you see, people have come from great distances to see their family member or loved one receive their diploma. And each candidate has the right and friends have the right to hear their name called clearly and to have their moment in the spotlight as they receive their diploma. If there's a lot of cheering and clapping and hooting and hollering for the previous candidate, it takes away from uh, the attention to each individual. So please cooperate in that. And if you think you cannot, you, you know, I, I remind you, this is not a um, rock concert or a Mardi Gras parade or a sporting event or a Trump political rally. <clears throat> this is a formal academic convocation. And we ask for your cooperation. And if, uh, if there's someone that just absolutely does not think that you can restrain yourself, we have an overflow room right across the hall, and we ask that you slip out now and go over there so you won't disturb the rest of us. One other request, uh, William Carey is a tobacco-free campus, so after the ceremony, uh, if you just have to light up, wait till you get off campus across the street to do that. I want to point out to you also that uh, after the ceremony, Bass Chapel will be open for pictures if you want to take pictures with uh, uh, that type background. Our chain garden just to the north of this building is uh, a wonderful place for pictures, so feel free to, to use those two venues. <coughs> The platform party this morning consists of Dr. Scott Hummel, University Provost, Dr. Gary Breland, Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will make the recommendations of the candidates for degrees. Dr. Jeremy Morgan, Assistant Professor of Music, led the National Anthem, and he will lead the singing of the alma mater at the end of the ceremony. Dr. Daniel Caldwell, Chair of the Department of Biblical Studies and Professor of Religion, gave the invocation. Mr. Brandon Walker, graduate with a BS in Mass Communication and Intercultural Studies, will give the benediction. Ms. Kathy Vale, Associate Professor of Music, is our organist. And Dr. Daniel Caldwell is the faculty marshal, and Dr. Tim Clay is director of BSU, and assistant professor of religion is the student marshal. Our speaker this morning is Dr. Cheryl Dale. Dr. Dale is the dean of the William Carey University School of Business. She graduated from Mississippi State University with a Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. She received a Master of Business Administration from the University of Southern Mississippi and a PhD in Operations Management from the University of Alabama. Prior to joining William Carey University in 1997, she taught for five years at Delta State University. She served as an examiner for the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award, the Mississippi Quality Award, the Washington, Washington State Quality Awards, and the 2002 and 2003 Governor's Achievement Awards. Dr. Dale was appointed as Dean of the School of Business in 2005, and in 2008 she was appointed as the Thompson Endowed chair in business. 
In 2009, she was selected as the WCU Administrator of the Year and the WCU Headway recipient. She's currently serving as president of the Southern Regional Assembly of the International Accreditation Council for Business Education. She is a member and co-advisor for the WCU chapter of the Society for Advancement of Management and a member of Sigma Beta Delta International Honor Society. She's married to Mike and they have three sons. Uh, are Dr. Dale's family here? It's an honor for us to have Dr. Cheryl Dale to deliver our commencement address. Please join me in welcoming her to the podium. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here with these graduates this morning. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, parents. And as a mother of three recent college graduates, let me say congratulations to the parents' checkbooks. Congratulations, spouses, and congratulations, family and friends. On behalf of the faculty members sitting behind me, it's a pleasure to be here today to speak to these graduates. I initially hesitated when Dr. King asked me to give this speech. I hesitated for several reasons. One of those reasons is that I think some of the folks behind me have already received lots of advice from me, but this may be my last chance to give some of these graduates a few reminders. The second reason I hesitated when asked to give the speech was that I usually think that graduation speakers are wise and can pass on some wisdom to the graduates. I don't consider myself a wise person, but I do consider myself experienced. This is my second graduation speech with the first one taking place when I graduated from high school. I don't have a copy of the speech and it's not a good sign that I don't remember what I said in the speech. Hopefully you'll be able to remember some of the things that I say today. While preparing what I was going to say, I tried to remember what I was thinking when I completed my undergraduate degree. As you can probably tell, that was some time ago. Some of the details are vague but I do remember a couple of things. I remember taking my last final exam and thinking to myself, I will never take another test again. I was wrong about that. I also remember being apprehensive about no longer being a student, something that I had always done and something that I was pretty good at doing. I was looking forward to having a job and working full time. And I remember thinking, that that would surely be easier than studying and taking all of those tests. I was also wrong about that. Graduates, you may be feeling the same way today. I am sure that you are happy to be finished with your final exams and you are looking forward to the future and feel prepared for your new adventure. Hopefully, your experience at William Carey University has prepared you for this adventure. In the School of Business, students take a course in operations management. Operations management is related to the transformation process, meaning the process of taking raw materials and transforming them into finished goods. The transformation process adds value. For example, if we had all the raw materials needed to produce an automobile lying here in front of us, you would probably not pay very much for those materials. However, after those materials are transformed into an automobile, you would probably pay a substantial price for those transformed materials. When explaining that concept to students, I often use an example describing a person who graduates from high school and then enters college. We hope that their college experience will transform them and value will be added. We hope that students are different in some way, whether it be through new skills, new knowledge, or personal characteristics when they have completed their college education and we hope this transformation adds value. Graduates, let's think back to when you started your transformation at William Carey. There are a lot of reasons individuals choose to attend college. I did a search and found several lists of reasons. The top reason on many of those lists was to increase earning potential. 
Other reasons on the list were for job security, to increase job options, and to learn skills and lead a happier life. In some ways, you hoped to be more successful. So you began your journey at William Carey. At William Carey, you were given many opportunities, opportunities to learn, opportunities to be challenged, opportunities to develop new friendships, opportunities to serve others and serve the community. All of those tests, papers, assignments, presentations, and group work have added value to your educational experience. So today you have accomplished your goal. Hopefully the group degree that you received today will open doors for you. But listen carefully. It will not guarantee success. After that door is open and you have your foot in it, it will be up to you to find your way to success. You still have more learning to do. You still need to continue sharpening your skills. You don't want to become a dinosaur. A prominent business leader, Warren Buffett, hires people based on integrity. When a person has integrity, it makes it easier to trust their decisions. Their decisions are not questioned and everyone can rest assured that they will use good judgment. A person with integrity will be honest, loyal, respectful, faithful, compassionate, and dedicated. Integrity is one of the most important characteristics of a good leader. Demonstrating integrity also involves acting with courage, vision, and communication. You can teach a person skills, but it's harder to teach character. You may have heard this story that I am going to tell you. It's a management training antidote, and this story is going to illustrate the importance of integrity. Once there was an aging ruler who lived in the East, he decided that he had a novel way to choose his successor. He called the city's children to his palace. He handed them some special seeds and he told them, go and plant these seeds. In a year's time, I will judge your plants and choose the new ruler. One boy named Ling took his plot home and planted the seed. Every day he watered it, but nothing grew. Even though his friends at school were talking about their growing plants, Ling only had an empty pot. When the day came to return to the palace, Ling went with a frightened heart. The ruler appeared. All the other children had magnificent plants. When the ruler saw Ling's pot, he summoned him to the front and announced to the crowd, Behold, your new emperor, he has courage and integrity for all the seeds I gave you were boiled and useless. He was the only one not to cheat. He will be a wise ruler over you all. Your character will be de demonstrated through how you handle difficult issues, how you deal with the people who work for you, and how you deal with the people for whom you work. Lack of integrity can derail your career. Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th President of the United States said, the supreme quality for leadership is unquestionable integrity. Without it, no success is possible. There are several things that you can do to develop integrity. First of all, know your values. Your actions are dictated by your values. Making decisions will be easier if you have a predetermined set of right and wrong actions. A person who has integrity will live his or her values in relationship with family, co-workers, and friends. Next, surround yourself with people with integrity. You can seek advice from your trustworthy friends, leaders, people you admire, and the scriptures. Leaders always err on the side of fairness. Integrity is maintaining consistency between words and action. Do the right thing even if it is difficult. Do the right thing even when no one is looking. I always say that if you have to stop and think if something is right or wrong, it's probably not the right thing to do. Take responsibility for your actions. Everyone makes mistakes. Accepting responsibility for your actions may be difficult in some situations, but it shows courage. Learn from your mistakes. And this may be hard to do, but forgive yourself when you fail. Show appreciation to others. Make them feel noticed and valued. 
Graduates, be grateful that you've had an opportunity to earn a degree. Less than 40% of Americans have a bachelor's degree and less than 10% have a master's degree. Appreciate and value your education. Your education can never be taking, taken from you. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Hopefully your educational experience at William Carey will help you have a positive impact on your world. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty members sitting behind me, I would like to thank you for allowing us to be part of your journey to success. We look forward to hearing about the great things you will do. In your journey that begins today, remember the verse Joshua 1.9, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Thank you. We have a very special presentation to make today, the conferring of an honorary doctor's degree. In the history of academic degrees, uh, the first doctoral degrees ever given were honorary degrees. They were not awarded for reading books and writing dissertations. They were awarded for achievements in the real world. Only later, did academic earn degrees come along? And so this morning, we are awarding the honorary Doctor of Humane Letters degree to Dr. Sheila Varnado, and I'll ask her to join me here. In appreciation to Colonel Barnado, the Board of Trustees approves the following resolution. Whereas Colonel Sheila Barnado retired, served our country with distinction for 27 years in the U.S. Army, earning numerous medals, including the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star, Defense Meritorious Medal, and the Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal. And whereas Colonel Barnado is the founder and former executive director of Recover, Rebuild, Restore Southeast Mississippi, uh, which created a network of volunteers, community leaders, social service agencies, local government entities, emergency management officials, and faith-based disaster recovery organizations. And whereas Dr. Colonel Barnado obtained and successfully managed over $5 million in Homeland Security and FEMA grants, and whereas Colonel Barnado has served South Mississippi through leadership on numerous boards, including the Southern Mississippi Planning and Development District, Mississippi Humanities Council, Greater Pine Belt Community Foundation, Area Development Partnership, African American Military History Museum, Hattiesburg Downtown Association, and Deacon at the First Missionary Baptist Church. And whereas Colonel Barnett O's uh, many accomplishments have been recognized through awards such as Hattiesburg Veteran of the Year, Hattiesburg Rotary Club Service Above Self, Citizen of the Year, and the Hattiesburg Historic Downtown Association Leadership Award. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of William Carey University desires to recognize Colonel Sheila Barnett O for her leadership, service, and many contributions to the advancement of South Mississippi. Be it further resolved that by recognizing Colonel Sheila Barnett O University honors her legacy of meeting the needs of the most vulnerable, strengthening communities, and developing leaders. 
in recognition of her lifetime of selfless service and leadership, William Carey University hereby confers upon Sheila Varnado the degree Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa. I believe uh, Dr. Varndo's husband, Fred, is here. Fred, would you stand? And from this moment forward, the proper response to Sheila is, yes, doctor. Good morning. This is such an honor to Dr. King, to Dr. Hummel, to all of the faculty and staff here at William Carey University, and to these young people uh, who are getting ready to graduate, graduate for the first time. Uh, to my family, to my friends who have come from both near and far, this is not something that I ever, ever thought would happen in my life. But I am certainly grateful. I am humbled. I am honored. I'm really just beyond words. But I think that God in his infinite wisdom and his plan for our lives just tell us always, just do the work and let me take care of the rest. And today he has demonstrated to me that he knows how to take care of the rest. Dr. King, thank you for just allowing this to happen and serving as God's instrument in this mighty, mighty way. I thank all of you and I just, I pray that you will have one of those moments similar to mine and perhaps you've always already had it, but it is just something that you cannot explain and all you can say is that it was God who moved in my life. Thank you so much. Sheila, let, let's have all the other members of your family to stand also. All of my family and friends, please stand. Dr. Dale for her fine graduation address to our students and our, our guests and uh, Dr. Varnado we are so thankful to be able to honor you today as well and I thank all of you for your presence here your encouragement and support have helped these graduates to reach this place in their careers I know that they could not have done it without you and uh, I know that your support will continue to be important to them as they continue with their, with their education and with their careers and their lives. William Carey University offers undergraduate, graduate, and professional degrees in a variety of disciplines. This morning, we are awarding the master's degree and undergraduate degrees to candidates in the School of Arts and Letters and in the School of Business. We recognize graduation distinctions by the bestowal of Latin honors, those with a cumulative grade point average of 3.6 will graduate cum laude with 3.8, magna cum laude, and those with 3.9 and no grades lower than a B, summa cum laude. These distinctions signify graduating with honor, with high honor, and highest honor. We will also recognize students who have earned degrees with a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 or all A's. 
I think you understand, but let me remind you one more time to please uh, not applaud for individual graduates. I will uh, indicate when you should applaud for a group of graduates. To present the candidates for degrees in arts and letters, I recognize Dr. Myron Nooncaster, Dean of the Ralph and Naomi Nooncaster School of Arts and Letters. Will the candidates for degrees from the Ralph and Naomi Nooncaster School of Arts and Letters please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all the requirements for their degrees and on, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Ralph and Naomi Nooncaster School of Arts and Letters, I present them to you for the conferral of their degrees. Thank you, Dr. Nooncaster. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. We have one graduate uh, at this time receiving the Master of Arts. Come forward, please. Laura Bethany Scoville. Master of Arts. Because she is quite literally in a class by herself this morning, you may applaud her. The next graduate will, will receive bachelor's degrees. Kayla Michelle Amundsen, Bachelor of Arts. Jared Rubin Best, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Alexander A. Dupree, Bachelor of Arts, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Abigail Erie Earnhardt, Bachelor of Arts. Amanda Renee Gibson, Bachelor of Arts. William Robert Kelly, Bachelor of Arts, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. And uh, he is also an honors graduate in speech communication. His thesis was student perceptions of legitimate teacher authority through computer-mediated communication. Michaela Grace Killingsworth, Bachelor of Arts, graduating magna cum laude. Perchance Christiana Lee, Bachelor of Arts. Brandon Devon Lindsay, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Robert Peyton Owen, Bachelor of Arts, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Cody R. Patrick, Bachelor of Arts, graduating magna cum laude. Olivia Elizabeth Russell, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Laura Liberty Elaine Seitz, Bachelor of Arts. Rebecca Delaney Smith, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Nadia Nicole Chernanis, Bachelor of Arts. Tara Dawn Waltman, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Elizabeth Renee Whips, Bachelor of Arts, graduating summa cum laude with a 4.0 GPA. Christian Nicole White, Bachelor of Arts. Cheney Elizabeth Character, Bachelor of Fine Arts. 
Christopher Chance Cherry, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Shelby Lee Gilliland, Bachelor of Fine Arts, graduating cum laude. Anna Christine Wagner, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Jordan Ray Baggett, Bachelor of Science, graduating summa cum laude. Luther Betrayal Gatlin, Bachelor of Science. Robert Stanley Hatfield, Bachelor of Science. Shakira Lashandri Johnson, Bachelor of Science. Carolyn Dare Lumpkin, Bachelor of Science. Shunda McSwain, Bachelor of Science. Kira Mickens, Bachelor of Science. Nikila Norman, Bachelor of Science. Chavis O'Neill Quinn, Bachelor of Science. Kelsey Redmond, Bachelor of Science. Ameria Success Taylor, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Michaela Maria Townsend, Bachelor of Science. Jacob Trevino, Bachelor of Science, graduating cum laude. Brandon Paul Walker, Bachelor of Science. Dominique Watts, Bachelor of Science. Maya Yoon, Bachelor of Science. Sandra Lee Anthony, Bachelor of General Studies, graduating cum laude. Angel Danette Coleman, Bachelor of General Studies. Caitlin Camille Rooney, Bachelor of General Studies. Colleen Ray Stewart, Bachelor of General Studies, graduating summa cum laude. You may congratulate these graduates. Present candidates for degrees in business. I recognize Dr. Cheryl Dale, Dean of the School of Business. Will the candidates from the School of Business please stand? Dr. Breland, these candidates have completed all requirements for their respective degrees, and the faculty of the School of Business recommend them to you for conferral of their degree. Thank you, Dr. Dale. Dr. King, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates to you for the conferral of their degrees. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of William Carey University, I hereby confer upon you the degrees which you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that throughout our world pertain thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? These first candidates are receiving the Master of Business Administration degree. Howard L. Billy, Master of Business Administration. Betty K. Boney, Master of Business Administration. Ross Anthony Brooks, Master of Business Administration. Crystal Crawford, Master of Business Administration. Janine Elizabeth Garvin, Master of Business Administration. 
Katrina D. Jackson, Master of Business Administration. Marlene M. Roney, Master of Business Administration. Laurie Tapio Tewista Coco, Master of Business Administration. Brooke Haley Rogers Morales, Bachelor of Arts, graduating cum laude. Before proceeding, let's congratulate the MBA graduates. Marcus Pomeroy Alcolo, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jessica Brooke Allard, Bachelor of Science in Business. Maria Andreva, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jose Luis Bautista, Bachelor of Science in Business. Natalia Baleva, Bachelor of Science in Business. Daniel Edward Bird, Bachelor of Science in Business. Charity Chandre Blackman, Bachelor of Science in Business. Ava Danielle Calvert, Bachelor of Science in Business. Preston Fant Carpenter, Bachelor of Science in Business. Trevon L. Cole, Bachelor of Science in Business. John Kirkpatrick Cornish, Bachelor of Science in Business. Taylor Bennett Dowdy, Bachelor of Science in Business, graduating summa cum laude. Joshua Caleb Forrest, Bachelor of Science in Business. Amy East Graves, Bachelor of Science in Business. Caitlin Grice, Bachelor of Science in Business. Ollie Victor Harding, Bachelor of Science in Business. Chastity N. Harris, Bachelor of Science in Business. Brian Thomas Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jock Keith Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Business. Gloria Kaufman, Bachelor of Science in Business, graduating cum laude. Anthony Caprito Camayo, Bachelor of Science in Business. Marshall Henry Kuhn, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jorge Luis Mena, Bachelor of Science in Business. Reagan Brooke Morris, Bachelor of Science in Business. Mason Alexander Peterson, Bachelor of Science in Business. Lauren Grace Phelps, Bachelor of Science in Business, graduating summa cum laude. Olivia Deshay Plummer, Bachelor of Science in Business. Reagan Caves Roseberry, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jamie Danielle Scholler, Bachelor of Science in Business, graduating magna cum laude. Jesse Michael Sunderman, Bachelor of Science in Business. Alvaro Aden Urea, Bachelor of Science in Business. Pedro Villar Rodin, Bachelor of Science in Business. Sonia Robin Wynn, Bachelor of Science in Business. Rakeem Devonte Duckworth, Bachelor of Science in Business. Jao Paulo Hayes Valadares, Bachelor of General Studies. Please congratulate these graduates.
Let's give one more round of applause to this group of graduates. Graduates, after much hard work and dedication, you've earned your William Carey University degree. Welcome to the Alumni Association. You now join more than 25,000 alumni across the globe. To maintain your relationship with your alma mater and your fellow alumni, I encourage you to participate in the Alumni Association. As an active member, you will be doing your part to make Cary and the Alumni Network stronger. You are Cary ambassadors, both within your profession and to prospective students. You are Cary strong. Graduates, the Proverbs is full of wise advice for us as we go out into the world. Proverbs 4 says, though it costs all you have, get understanding. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. And we have now a graduation right to complete. So the master's level students, we already have our tassel on the left, but for our undergraduates, it's now time, graduates, to turn your tassels. Congratulations, William Carey University Class of 2018. Thank you for coming. Uh, we encourage you to drive safely as you return home. Um, please remain in your uh, place for the singing of the alma mater and the benediction and the recession of the class. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater. William Carey, we will love thee, loyal we will be, and we will ever sing thy praises, hail, all hail to thee, lifting high the light of knowledge, answering the clarion call, thou hast made thy Staunch crusaders all. Thou hast taught us love and honor, taught us truth and right, elevating every new crusader with thine armor bright. May the God who made thee worthy keep thee truly free. May his spirit on the martyr ever dwell with thee. Let's pray. God, we come to you right now, gracious, humble, and thankful for everything you have blessed us with. God, you have laid the foundation for every student that has graduated from William Carey University. Lord, we look at Psalms 121, verses 1 through 3, where it says, I lift my eyes towards the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow, my, allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. As we take these verses with us on our journey, I pray that we remember what God has done for us on this campus and we remember what God has done for us individually. And also to remember that what lies behind us and before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Amen.